Welcome back to Off the Record with me, Divya Singaravelu. I'm in conversation today with Professor Bala V. Balachandran. He is a management guru and we were just going to talk about uh, Professor Bala's management sessions. And you're very famous for coming up with various interesting analogies and coining new terminologies for uh, management. Uh, and you told me this interesting analogy between your life story and that of superstar Rajnikant in the movie Sivaji. Can you tell us something about that now? You know, there, there, I, I really like some of the one-liners of Rajnikant. I also say something like this in my management style also. For example, in, in a movie called Sivaji, he says, it is singanda, singala tamaro. <laughs> See, there are, for example, if you are talking about a leader, a leader has to be a leader, not a team, though we believe in team leadership, but ultimately the buck stops with one person. So you cannot just say he has done it. So therefore, I also, in the, in, the, in the school also said, look, I am going to take the responsibility of everything. Anything goes right, everybody shares. Anything goes wrong, there is only one guy. I am not going to pass it on to anybody else. Mm. Same thing he always say, Yanakuna <laughs> Right? So I, I see every one of the statement and my way of doing things, you leave a trailblazer, right? Mm. I say that. Mm. He says, Yanakuna mm. Urutani You know, Adurudilla. So is it not vibrating? I, I always <laughs> say that. And I couldn't believe, it. as a matter of fact, that Sivaji movie was very similar to my life also. Hmm. For example, I am an NRI, like hmm. in the movie. Yeah. And then he comes here to do something into the country. Hmm. And of course, he get into a lot, lot of problems. I got into a lot of problems. But huh. the only thing where I was different, he went to violence. I cannot do that. Hmm. So I want to be on the right side of the law. And I worked with the government. I did not want to pay one penny as a bribe to anybody. Hmm. And we got it done. I am so hmm. proud to do that. So I really find this person and also his previous life was very poor and pathetic. Mm. And whereas I was having the same thing, I could not have even a good life mm. or a good meal. Mm. And uh, But anyway, later on, I became all right. So mm. I find a lot of things in common with his way of uh, thinking and mm. simple and getting. And in, in addition to that, both of us are bald. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay. okay, recently you were telling me about an interesting analogy between management and Thiruvalluvar. Yeah, I think Thiruvalluvar has actually a set of verses purely on management itself. What is the right thing? What is a king to be done? What a king has to do is the CEO stuff. So I, I really even quote some uh, Thiruvalluvar poems. And as a matter of fact, if you really see in Great Lakes, the only guru I want to respect and show is Thiruvalluvar statue itself. Hmm. In the entrance itself, I put Thiruvalluvar because that is very specific to this region. But also his saying since simple couplets have mm. created so much of impact mm. on the entire body of people mm. and why not we follow that thing mm. you know, on ordinary life in a management life in a business life in a family life everything he's talking about mm. so i'm a big fan of him okay you you've compared management with rajnikanth style you've compared management with tiruvalluvar right. you've also compared management with lord ganesha i really feel lord ganesha is the ultimate ceo mm. if you really look at him no matter what religion you belong he has a biggest head, so you have to have a big head. That's why Lord Ganesha has an elephant head. Mm. And he has two sets of teeth. One set of teeth he shows, mm. the other set of teeth he hides. Mm. So in any corporation, there are certain information should be publicly displayed, mm. but it should be useless. For mm. example, the tusk uh, the, the, that he has got, and the tusk is useless for eating anything. Mm. That is a dandam. Uh, uh -huh. and also, whereas the teeth which is useful for uh -huh. e eating, he closes it up. So mm. what do you disclose, what do you don't disclose? He has the biggest ears, mm. that is why it's the elephant ears also. Mm. You have to listen big. And also one very sharp eyes, wherever you go and you see the picture, that eyes are following you. Mm. Of course the picture is static. So mm. li like that when the CEO has to have his eyes all over the place. Mm. And you have four hands. Mm. Now there are four major stakeholders, mm. investors, customers, suppliers and internal management mm. or employees. Mm. So that's exactly the four hands. Mm. And to the supplier, he has a chain. That is called <laughs> the supply chain. Right? If the chain doesn't work, you have to cut it out. And that's why he has an axe on the other hand. And to the investor, he is giving a laddu or, or, a, or a flower. So if you really look at it, that he has all kinds of things. And at the same time, in the tusk, if you see, one of the tusks is broken. Mm. You cannot have an ego. Mm. I always say that, in the long run, you go, I go. Why mm. ego in between? So, Ganesh is saying, if you have ego, that is death. Mm. 
Hmm. So therefore, why do you want to help? That's why he has broken that thing. You're not only famous for bringing across Indian mythology and management together, but you also come up with various uh, terminologies that yeah. you have coined it yourself, yeah. like co-opetition. Yeah. And uh, just in the beginning of the show, you, you had said globality. Oh, yeah, right. So can you talk to us? How do you come up with such you terminologies? See, you see, the point is the world has changed. The traditional values and thinking in the management in the previous decade and previous millennium, people talk about discounted cash flows mm. and time value of money. Correct. Time value of money was there. But in these days, time is important. So I create a term called money value, money of, time. value of time. If you don't do it today, what is the opportunity cost to you for tomorrow? Mm. The world has to think about the future mm. and not the past. And the previous management techniques were talking about the past and mm. not the future. Mm. So similarly, cooperation. Yes, competition is there. But collaboration is also needed. Mm -hmm. The IAMs are all competing. Mm -hmm. But they are all together also as an IAM, as a group. Mm -hmm. So therefore, we have to think about cooperation. Globality. People talk about globalization. I have some office here, some office in US, some office in India. Said, no. Mm -hmm. Can you compete mm -hmm. for every resource in the world, mm -hmm. with every company in the world, mm -hmm. and also from any part of the world, from everywhere? Mm -hmm. So I call that as the globality. So we have to create some term, even the name Great Lakes, there is no lakes here. Right? <laughs> but the Great Lakes huh. is a very symbolic thing of, first of all, greatness. Mm. Greatness also rhymes with green. Mm. I want to believe in green, everything green. Which is why the campus so that's has That's why the campus green is a platinum numerated green campus. Correct. Similarly, lakes, not the ocean. The lakes are giving drinking water. Mm -hmm. The ocean cannot be, uh, that water mm -hmm. is uh, mm -hmm. salty. So therefore, the whole United States and even South America mm -hmm. is supplied with that. So education is like a drinking water. Mm -hmm. So I want people to drink the knowledge as an education mm -hmm. uh, and then take it. Mm -hmm. So therefore, I created that. But at the same time, the people were from the Great Lakes area. Mm -hmm. so Okay, and one last question before we move on to the next segment. Uh, you had worked on a case study on the Satyam uh, scandal. Correct. When something similar happened in the US with the Enron company, <coughs> the company was shut doors, right? Yeah. But then in India, we were somehow, you know, made to bring the company back into business and uh, continue business with existing clients and retain employees. Yeah. So how, how was your experience working on that case study? Can you tell us no, some it, insights it, it, about it that? Was a, it was a phenomenal study. I am actually comparing Enron Fraud is common everywhere, hmm. any part of the country, in any culture. So what is the commonness between the fraud in WorldCom, Enron and all those stuff hmm. and at the same time Satyam and other things. I was working with Ministry of Corporate Affairs. Mm -hmm. Here is a, so there is a guy by name Mr. Prem Chand Gupta who also mm -hmm. came to Great Lakes. He has a delicate story. The Satyam episode has come. Mm -hmm. It is clear. Now, according to the rules, the, the ministry has to get a report from Hyderabad, mm. from the Ministry of Corporate Affairs people, mm. and then only take, he can take an action. Mm. All right, that will take at least two months. Mm. Whereas, if he doesn't interfere, mm. it will be like a fiasco on Enron, mm. and the whole employees and all the customers will run away. So now here is a minister, and I was right there in the office mm. with the minister by name Prem Chand Gupta, and, uh, and also a, a, a guy by name Agarwal. And with, with us, we said, look, even though, you have, so if you take on the one side, you can be charge sheeted by the government. Mm. That, you know, you have taken it to a quick action, mm. and unless you are clearly told that you have to wait for their report. But if he doesn't take the quick action, that is all, again, money value of time. The okay. whole company. So I told him, look, let you be crucified by doing the right thing right. Mm. So it is very important to do the right things rather than things right. Mm. If you follow the procedures, you are doing things right. Uh -huh. If you do what is important and make sure that all the families don't get collapsed and all the customers, so take charge, <laughs> do that. And I will stand by it. So okay. these are all the kind of things, no one can write it. Okay. I was personally involved. So we have already started writing it, a case has happened. And there are two people in the US with Kellogg, they are doing it. Some students from Great Lakes, so we're putting together and a book will be coming in addition okay. to cases. Okay, doing the right things right. We are in conversation with Professor Bala Balachandran. Stay tuned to Off the Record as we discuss with him his future plans for his education in India.